This is an animation of the supposed GPS satellite network put in place in 1993 by the US military, showing how many supposed sats are visible at one point in time. Let me just pause that. Now we know this is incorrect anyway. One, because the globe's scientifically impossible. And two, because if this was true, in this representation, i.e. satellites going around a ball, then the US military by now would have a similar system from space offering space radar. They don't. Which is bizarre considering the benefits not only for military but for, for civilian given the amount of planes that seem to keep getting lost and never found. That in itself proves there's no radar detection from space. It comes from aircraft. And I'm going to show you. The US Navy is going to show you. So if this was real, what we see on our screen in the so-called GPS form of satellites going around a ball, then the US military would no doubt have a radar system in place now which protected their forces in hostile lands or at sea. Common sense tells you that. And of course the benefits from that go right through the ranks, civilian, military, I mean the list goes on and on. And this is what gives it away. Yi Tu Hawkeye and the US Navy's dependence on this 1960s propeller plane. Essentially, the US Navy's early airborne warning and control system comes from this plane. A 1960s propeller plane. You would have thought by now, if this constellation, GPS constellation, was put in place in 93 and keeps getting updated, supposedly, then you would have a radar constellation put in place now to protect your military. You certainly, if you're the almighty force that is the American military and all the things they've said are true, you certainly would not be relying on 1960s propeller planes as your early warning defence system for your naval fleet. You'd have an early warning system of satellites which could see all round the globe. But no, they have to rely on 1960s aeroplanes as their early warning defence system. Rather revealing, lads. On all the aircraft carriers, you'll see the number one plane that gives it away. There'll always be four. There's four on every aircraft carrier, some at the other end. But that is your airborne early warning system. They're on all the aircraft carriers. There's no satellites going around the ball. That's why the US Navy relies on 1960s aeroplanes as its early warning detection system at sea. Where is it? Hawkeyes. Each Hawkeye is a flying early warning system for the carrier and air wing. Total on board, four. So on each aircraft carrier, four. I should imagine in hostile waters, two will be up in the air doing loop the loops or figure eights around the, the, the fleet or whatever, providing their protection. Obviously, if they're not in the air, they're not protected, clearly. Because there's no satellites. There's no satellites, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't need these planes. If the GPS constellation was true, you'd have a radar constellation as well. You can fake the GPS constellation with land towers and bits and pieces. You can't fake this. Planes will keep getting lost. You'll come unstuck in hostile waters if you've not got your radar system via planes in place because there's no obvious obviously no radar system defense from space despite the incredible applications that that would offer for civilian and military yeah kind of obvious at this point guys headphone warning here as we see this satellite exposing globe destroying 1960s plane take to the air take it away Don't you 
you just love it when a retro 1960s aeroplane tears down the narrative, exposes the satellite pantomime, and of course the globe as well. Love it!